Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we are going to work on real time project in UiPath. So let's get started and because of this COVID-19 global pandemic going on, I thought of creating a project around that COVID-19. So let's see what all steps we will have in our project. So first step will be to extract data from website for COVID-19 for number of affected people, number of recovered people and the number of deaths. Now once we have extracted these data from the website, we are going to put that extracted data into the Excel sheet and later on we are going to send that Excel sheet over the email to required recipients. So let's see this how we can do this in UI path. So let's create a new project in UI path. So I'm going to select this process and let's give the name of the process as report for COVID-19 and my project will be stored in this location and let's give the description as this is a project to generate COVID-19 report and let's click on create. So now we are in the UiPath design page. Let's move to project, double click on main and we are good to drop activities over here. Now to drop activities, let's move to activities and we know that the first and the foremost activity we need to add is a workflow type. So I'm going to take the workflow type as flowchart. So under workflow, under the flowchart, there is a flowchart available. So let's drag and drop it over here. Double click on the flowchart and now we are good to drop other activities over here. Now the first step of the project is to extract data from the website. So I'm going to use COVID-19 data which Google is providing worldwide. So Google is providing the COVID-19 data worldwide for confirmed cases, cases per 1 million people recovered and deaths in the form of a web table. So I'm going to extract this entire web table and to extract this web table, first of all, we need to open this URL. So let's see how we can open this URL in UI path. I'm going to add an open browser activity. So there is an open browser activity under the browser UI automation. So let's drag and drop it over here. Let's double click over here and we need to provide the URL. So let's provide a URL. So I have provided the URL under the open browser and let's skip this do activity as of now. Let's move to flowchart again. Now once we have opened the URL then we need to extract this data. So how to do that? So for that I'm going to use this data scrapping of UiPath which is used to extract structured data from a browser. And from this website we can understand that this is a structured data. So we can use the data scrapping technology over here. Now to use this data scrapping from here let's click on this data scrapping. Now as soon as you click on data scrapping you will get the extract wizard which explains in detail how to extract the data using data scrapping. So first step is to open the browser from where we wish to extract the data which we have already did. We have already opened the browser and the URL from where we wish to extract the data. Now the next step is to move to the data source field and click on that field. So let's do that. So first of all we need to click on next. And since we wish to extract this entire data table, so first of all, we need to click on this single cell. So as soon as you click on the single cell, you will get a pop up. You selected a table cell. Would you like to extract the data from the whole table? So yes, I want to extract the data from this entire table. So for that, I will move click on yes. So you see in the preview data, the entire data from that table got extracted over here. Now let's see what all details we need to provide. So here we need to provide the maximum number of results. Let's say that you wish to extract only 100 rows. So you, you will provide over here 100. But if you wish to extract the entire rows, which is our case, so we need to provide over here 0. Now as we have provided over here 0, it's going to extract entire result, all the rows from this table. And after that, we need to click on finish. 
So as we click on finish, it's asking another question is data spanning across multiple pages. So if you have this data across multiple pages, you need to click on yes and proceed further. But since our data resides on a single page, so we are going to click on no. So you see data scrapping activity got created over here. So double click over here to see what it has. Now under the data scrapping, we have these two activities. First one is attach browser. So this attach browser contains the browser type and the selector. And this selector is going to find the data table under the web page. And the next activity is extract structured data, which is going to extract this entire data. And it's going to keep this extracted data inside this data table. So it has already created a data table extract data table. So you will be able to see that in the variables. This extract data table variable got created of type data table. Now the scope it has selected as data scrapping. We can change the scope to flow chart to make it visible for other activities as well, which will be helpful. You will see it later on. So this data scrapping activity is going to extract the web table and assign it to extract data table variable. Let's move to flowchart again and let's connect these two activities. Now after the data has been extracted, we can add a message box. We can add a message box as let's add a message as data extracted successfully. And let's move to flowchart again. So once the data is extracted using the data scrapping, we need to put that inside the Excel sheet. So I have already created an Excel sheet having all these columns, location, confirmed cases, cases per 1 million people recovered and deaths. These are the columns corresponding to the columns over here. You can match it from here. So these all are the columns. So what we are going to do, we are going to write this extract data table variable into an Excel. Now to work on Excel, we need to add the activities related to Excel. So let's search for the Excel activity over here. We know that to work on Excel, the first and the foremost activity we need to add is an Excel application scope. Let's drag and drop it over here and let's double click over here. And we need to provide the workbook path over here. So I'm going to provide the workbook path of this COVID-19 report. So let's provide the path. And under options, let's uncheck this box. We don't want to create a new file. We want to write on this already existing file. So now we have provided the path of this COVID-19 report Excel and now we want to write data table on this Excel. Now this we have already learned in the email automation session. So if you have missed that one, I will share the link in the description. You can go through that video. So what activity we need to add? We need to add this right range activity over here. So let's drag and drop it over here. And under the right range, we need to provide the sheet name and the cell from where we wish to start. So my sheet name is sheet one and I want to start from this A2 cell because my row one contains the header. So I want to start from this A2 cell. So let's provide sheet one is correct and let's provide over here A2 and we need to provide over here the data table. So I want to write this extract data table. So let's put the extract data table over here. So with the help of this right range activity, we have written this extract data table into the COVID-19 report Excel. Let's move to flowchart again. And I'm going to add another message box. Let's drag and drop this message box over here. So that let's double click over here and let's give the message as data written to Excel and let's move to flowchart again. Now after putting the entire data into this Excel sheet, I want to send an email to the required recipients along with the Excel. So let's see how we can do that. We need to add an activity to send 
email so i'm going to search for the send email activity and we have multiple of options to send email i'm going to use this send smtp mail message so the activity is added let's double click on that to see what all details we need to provide so first of all let's go with the attach files to see how we can attach this covid 19 report so let's click on attach file and here let's click on create an argument so in the argument the direction will be in and type will be string and let's provide the path of the covid 19 excel under the value so i'm going to provide the path from here and let's click on OK. So we have provided the file to be attached and let's see what all details we need to provide. So under the email, let's see what all we need to give. First of all, let, we need to provide the body. So let's give the body of the email as hi, please find the attached COVID-19 report. And let's give the subject as COVID-19 report and the next details which we need to provide is the port number and the server name now to work with SMTP with Gmail the port number is 587 and the server name is smtp.gmail.com and after that we need to provide the email ID and password to log in to the email so let's create arguments to provide the email and the password so I'm going to create arguments click on arguments and let's create an argument as email and let's give a default value over here so I'm going to give my email ID And let's provide another argument as password and I'm going to give my password over here and let's move to SMTP mail again so here let's give the email argument which I have created and let's give the password over here and next we need to provide is the recipients so we can provide two CC and BCC as the recipients two is uh, mandatory and CC and BCC are optional so let's give the recipient email address over here and under sender we need to provide the from and name so under the from we need to provide the email ID again and let's give a name over here so we can give any default name we can give the name as demo one so we have provided all the re information required to send the email using the SMTP mail message activity we have also provided the part to attach the file let's move to flowchart again now our entire job is done and in the beginning we have opened the browser so at the end we need to close the browser as well so let's see how we can close the browser now to close the browser there is an activity under the browser package let me show you under the browser package there is a close tab activity so let's drag and drop that activity over here and to use this close tab activity we need to create a browser variable under this open browser because that variable will link this open browser and this close tab activity so under open browser I am going to create a variable you can see under the output there is a UI browser option available here we need to create a variable so right click over here create a variable and let's give the variable name as browser variable and I'm going to use this browser variable under the close tab as well so let's open this close tab activity and under the properties of this close tab you can see in the input we need to provide the browser variable so let's give the browser variable which we have created just now so let's give that one and let's move to flowchart again
so my task is ready now let me show you what it will do it's going to open the browser which contains the covid 19 data as a web table it's going to extract that web table into a data table and later on it's going to write that data table into an excel sheet and it's going to send that excel sheet over the email and at the end it's going to close the browser so I will quickly run this task now to see how it works. Let me close this Excel and let's see now how it works. So I'm going to run the task now. So it's going to open the browser and it says in the message as data extracted successfully. Let's press OK. And now it says data written to Excel as well. So the UI path has extracted the data from web table and it has written those data into the Excel sheet. So let's press OK again. And my task is over now. So let's quickly check the Excel sheet and the email. So first of all, let's move to the Excel sheet and I'm going to open this COVID-19 report. So you can see the entire data got extracted from the web browser and uh, since we had provided the maximum number of rows as zero which denotes that I need to extract the entire data so it has extracted the complete data from the web table and now we'll move to the email to check whether we received the email or not. So let's move to email and you can see we received the email as well. Let's open this one. So and here you can see we had provided the email body as hi please find the attached COVID-19 report so it displayed that one along with the attachment let's open this attachment and we got this excel sheet that is COVID-19 report as attachment as well so let's move back so that was all for this session guys. Please try to do hands on on your own and let me know in case of any issues. And I hope we will be very soon out of this global pandemic. Stay safe and healthy and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like and share with your friends and hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.